Actually, and 10, 20. 20. Right. Okay. Oh. And then at the end, like when you're ready to stop it, hit the screen again to see those three dots. And to bring up the option to end record. If not, let me know. I'm right here. So we yeah. have to do that when we start the next. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Good morning. morning. Welcome to the Church of the Angels. We are an independent, non denominational, interfaith spiritualist assembly. All who enter here are valued for their unique qualities. We gather in safe community to worship as equals in, ex in an exchange of energy through love, thought, and communication. Thank you for your cooperation as we learn how to best move forward back into life services. My name is Dale Miller, and I am your facilitator today. Service is being recorded today and it will be posted online at Facebook and our website. The recording will be stopped before messages are given to respect the sacredness of working with spirit. In true spiritualist tradition, our service celebrates all four aspects of meeting. The first is the uniting of our vibrations through music, prayer, and quiet reflection. The second offers spiritual healing. The third embraces inspiration and thought exchange. And finally, we communicate messages from spirit. We will be together here for a little more than an hour today. Masks or face shields are optional. Please continue to practice social distancing. There will be no fellowship time. Wipes and or hand sanitizer is available if desired. The Church of the Angels tries to be as inclusive as possible and invite those of all opinions and backgrounds to join for our services. All speakers are advised to be very careful with anything that might be seen as political. This is to promote spiritual unity. We know that our two selves are always united in love. If you are interested in sharing your passion and knowledge with our congregation, please contact Fran Dittrich, who is scheduling speakers at this time. And if you would like to serve the church as a facilitator, as I am doing now, please contact Reverend Deborah Bay. If you wish to make a donation, you can do so through the Church of the Angels website. And you will also have the opportunity to make your donation a recurring one if you so choose. There is a separate donation page on the website. And on that page, you will be able to choose where and or what your donation is for. Here in our church space, we will not be passing the donation bowl, but they are located throughout the room. Thank you to all those who have donated and help us stay strong throughout this time. And now, a blessing on our donation. Infinite Spirit, please bless the funds donated for the good of the Church of the Angels. We accept with gratitude and ask for blessings on those able to contribute time, energy, and positive intentions toward our Church. We thank you for such abundance. Please rise for our first song, which is higher ground, and then remain standing for our opening prayer.
Mother, Father, Infinite Spirit, thank you for your blessings on those who have joined here today to honor your work and experience your grace and wisdom. Thank you for providing the appropriate thoughts, insights, actions, and all resources for us to gain a better and truer understanding of your love by the words spoken, the songs sung, and by the messages and healing brought forth here today, so that we might lead healthy, happy, and prosperous lives. Thank you for showing us the way to accept responsibility for our lives. We are grateful to know you are with us all. And now, if you are comfortable, please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you very much. Please be seated. This is a sacred assembly. To avoid interruptions and maintain the sacred nature of the service, all phones and or recording devices are to be turned off during the entire service. We will be recording the podium area only so that we can share the service with others online. Now is the time for announcements. You can join the Church of the Angels on meetup.com to get a schedule of events. Visit our website at www.thechurchoftheangels.net or find us on Facebook. Membership forms can be requested via email. If you are interested in becoming a member, please fill out the form and return it to the church's email address. Tonight is the Zoom evening service. It will come in your PJ service and, and may and maybe you can wear your favorite holiday hat and have a cup of cocoa ready as well. Next Sunday, December 26th, is our Christmas service with Reverend Mary Barker. T tomorrow evening on Zoom is Development Circle at 7 p.m. The church directory has begun to come together. If you would like to be included with your contact information and any business information, Please see Reverend Jenny or email your information to the church. The website is being updated, so please make sure to keep checking to stay up to date. Please check the website, newsletter, meetup, or Facebook for current information and also the bulletin board. There are a lot of exciting opportunities coming up in the next few months. You can connect with us through Facebook at the Church of the Angels of Cleveland, Ohio. Please help us to promote our church and its events by reposting and sharing the church's Facebook post. So now I would ask if there is anyone who has announcements from the floor. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Any other announcements from the floor? Okay, thank you very much. Please join me silently as I read our statement of principle. If you would like a copy, you can find it on our website. There is one creative force of which all life is a part. This one creative force was known by many names and manifestations. We honor and recognize the many names and manifestations of the one creative force, the source of all creation, one in God. 
The energy of life everywhere is continuous. All consciousness is continuous. Communication is continuous. The energy of life, consciousness, and communication never cease, even after the event that is perceived as death. One creates one's own reality. One creates in harmony with the one creative force, the great power of God, of which all life is a part. Reality is as one chooses to perceive and will change as one grows in knowledge of the inner self and one's relationship with the God of one's understanding. All things are possible with faith, insight, knowledge, understanding, acceptance, and love. Love is the unifying energy of the universe. Love is the energy of the one creative force, the wisdom of God. All life and all mankind are one in the creatorship and healing force of love and with each other. Love is with us and of us. Love is never apart from us. It is we who separate ourselves from the power of love. The force of God works through love and love alone. Now we will have a few moments of quiet meditation so that we will may concentrate on going within to find peace, calm, and healing for ourselves and the world.
take your time and come back to the present. Please remember that we are always connected to each other and the divine. Use this peace and calm to take care of yourselves and all those around you in your communities and throughout the world in whatever way you can. Please add silently or aloud the names of those you wish to include in this healing energy. Thank you. Infinite Spirit, that which we call God, thank you in advance for having already taken care of all those individuals and situations we have called for. Thank you for taking care of the needs of this congregation, their family, friends, and all of creation. Thank you for providing all the appropriate thoughts, insights, actions, and all resources. And so it is. It is now time for inspiration and thought exchange brought to us by today's speaker. We invite everyone to address our assembly with words of inspiration, lessons learned, or passionate ideas. Every opinion expressed here is strictly that of the person who gives it. Let us consciously and lovingly agree to disagree if it does not resonate with us. I'm pleased to present Melanie Ayani as our presenter for today. She will explain to us what the topic is. I will present a brief bio. Mel has brought more focus, awareness, and attention to her self-healing journey in 2015. In 2017, her self-healing journey came her primary focus. Her passion is enjoying and being present for every moment, and when she is not, loving herself enough to return to a place of self-love and satisfaction. Mel started her own business in 2020, Mel's Healing Vibes. Vibes. She shares the medicine she <laughs> used for her own self-healing journey with you to insist you assist you on your journey. Mel uses 11 different instruments and her voice as her sound medicine. She draws, hikes, goes camping with herself and others, enjoys attention, attending drum circles, and most importantly, enjoys being with herself. Today, Mel will share an experience from her self-healing journey. So it's now my pleasure to present Melanie Ayani. Good morning. Good morning. How's everyone today? So I So first I feel called to just start with a little bit of drumming. It's gonna help ground me, maybe it'll help talk to you guys some medicine. This is my 16 inch buffalo base drum. So, I think the experience I'm going to share today is kind of how I ended up with this sound medicine. And um, so, 
So February of 2020, go out to dinner with my family. It was my mom, my dad, and my little brother. And my dad and little brother are a phenomenal musician. I kind of dabbled in piano a little bit as a kid, uh, played the viola for about a year, sang in choir, absolutely loved it. And, but then I just, life took over, I walked away from it. So after dinner, my little brother decides he wants to go to Sam Ash Music, which is in Lynnhurst. And okay, why not? I find the drum. <laughs> and I've always really loved the drums. Like going to orchestra concerts and things like that. I would just concerts, I would just hone in on the on the drums. And I remember asking my brother, I'm like, well, what do I do? I don't know how to play. And he's like, just just feel the music. So I play a couple of the big djembe's. Um, and then there's this one particular djembe. Now mind you, I wasn't working. So finances were a little, I was waiting for them to come to me. And so I see her. Yes, she is a her. Um, so I started playing. And next thing I know, everything didn't matter. I'm sitting in the middle of Sam Ash music. Now, gratefully, there really wasn't a lot of people. And I was sitting there drumming. And I, I, I remember seeing my brother. He was over by like the guitars and the pianos and the keyboards and whatnot. And, he just had like this cute little smile on his face. And I remember closing my eyes and I didn't care the way it sounded. It just, in my body, it felt so right. And so this moment I paused and it was interesting because before I went there, I checked my, the money in my checking account and I had like $40. She's $40 with tax. <laughs> So it was this, this moment, what do I do, right? Because society or conditioning would have said, can't get it because that's all, that's all you got. I'm like, but it felt like I couldn't, I wasn't going to leave without this little djembe coming home with me. And the healing that I have done sense that I brought her home has been profound. There was this moment that I can recall and sitting in the backyard and gratefully like in our backyard, we have a little bit of wood. So it, it feels kind of private and secluded. And, um, and I'm sitting there drumming and sometimes I would put headphones on um, because I was still learning what it sounded like me playing the drum because it felt really, it was different right? I didn't play the drums. I never played the drums before. And um, so this particular time, I often would play a lot and I would put like shamanic drum sounds on. Just a real steady, soft beat, almost kind of similar, a little similar to what I played for you guys recently. And there was this moment in my past that came up a lot for me and so in that moment I'm sitting in my red camping chair I'm facing the woods I have my headphones on listening to shamanic drumming music and I have her kind of like in my lap I'm holding her and I just sit there drumming and that event came back to me. all right let's do this so I close my eyes, I take a deep breath, and I just start drumming. And I actually kind of turned the music down a little bit because I, I wanted to connect a little more with the drum, my drum. And so the incident kind of played itself in, in, in my head again, and I just, I breathed with it, and I loved myself through it, and man, did I 
Uh, but it was like that really good cry. And I was groaning. Her head is still fine. I had did not have to fix her. But I drummed. I drummed and I drummed and I drummed. And it was almost as if. Like the, the pain, right? The sadness, the fear, all those emotions that were related to that one particular incident that kept replaying in my head because it, it needed to be heard, right? It was ready to be healed. This $40, we healed it. Now if it replays in my head, it replays from a place of strength and courage. It doesn't scare me anymore. It doesn't, there's no fear behind it. And so February of 2020, my life changed significantly. And it, it changed to a place of I didn't know how much I really loved music. I didn't know how much it was going to help and heal and I guess almost kind of a sense of fullness a little bit. Um, it's interesting I wore this shirt so I'm going to tell you a funny story. I had this shirt when I was like 13. There's a lot of holes. There's been a lot of sewing and um but it just, I put it on and it's just like this little <laughs> girl just gets, woohoo, you know, like it just gets super excited. And, um, and so this, I think it's almost like my inner child a little bit, at least for me, that's how I kind of, for now, that's kind of what makes sense, I would say, but. So then I found the drum community and I brought her with me. She has a very, like a very high pitch, very high pitch sound. When you're around like other really big djembe's, they're a lot deeper, so she stood out. <laughs> and so then someone graciously gave me, let me borrow their djembe and I fell in love, man. So next thing you know, I'm getting a djembe. If you would have asked me February of 2020 that I was going to be a sound healer, I wouldn't have. I probably wouldn't have even said, yeah, I'm going to get myself a djembe. So. I remember this other time I was in my room and I don't really remember, but there was a couple things I was just kind of like processing and allowing myself to feel and embrace. And very vividly, I remember this. I remember, I, you guys can't tell, but I have like a little blue jay feather on her. Um, and this blue jay feather, I actually, I, I was having a, chat with my shaman on the phone and this blue jay feather came. I put it on her. I don't really know what it means. I didn't try to, it wasn't important. I just, so anyway, so I'm sitting there and, and, you know, I got music playing and I'm just kind of swaying my body, allowing my body to just kind of shift and, and move the energy that needs to get shifted. And next thing you know, I grab the drum her, and I'm literally holding her like a child. Just start crying, but crying to this place of, it was almost like I was soothing myself. It was, it's very hard to articulate. Um, and even now, like, I don't know if I'm like just sitting here rocking her, <laughs> just like, it's just like, See, the self-healing journey, there's no, there's no black and white to it, right? There's no, there's no story that can tell you how to do it. 
There's no teacher that can tell you what feels right for you. There's no podcast. There's no article. There's because when people write those things, they write it based on their own experience. I didn't look for an article that said, go get a gym bag. I just listened. And it was one of those things. How did I know? How did I know that I was supposed to go there? I didn't question. There was nothing. I didn't feel scared. I didn't feel scared knowing that when they select that car, there was going to probably be like a dollar or two left in my account. I was more afraid of it being defined than I was about having a dollar or two left in my account. So it was like in that moment, I was more afraid of not taking it home than I was of it. And self allow the self healing journey to be whatever it is for you. If it's a gym bag, get a gym bag. And the beautiful thing is, is when you connect with something that is right for you, you'll find the heart. Right. How did I learn how to play? I didn't. I just put music on and played. I played what felt right. I didn't, I never listened to like YouTube to try to tell me. Actually, in fact, I, I did, I like later on, I tried to listen to some things and they're like, you know, they're all very people do this sound and that sound. And I'm like, I, I just, I just go with what feels right, what, you know, in my body. And so. So it's interesting because I used to wear like a lot of crystals, right? I would wear like, like I'd take the sports bra, I'd take the pads out and I'd go on. <laughs> a lot of crystals. <laughs> this morning I have none. Um, I do have this necklace, but I don't have it on because of the crystals. I have it on because it was a gift from my shaman which in return for me is a gift in spirit. That's why I have it on. It has nothing to do with the crystal. In fact, I did have one crystal on and I, you guys couldn't tell that I took it out. So do whatever feels right, right? Like in the beginning for me, I used crystals. That was my comfort. That's what felt right. So, I also play the flute, Native American flute, and I think I think he wants to be heard. So I'm gonna give you guys a little flute message from before I end. And him, I got. I Honestly, I don't really know if it's a him or her. I just, it, you know, it just, it just what happened. This was June of 2021. 20, Went to a Native American flute festival. You guys can go, man. It's the beginning of June. It is a blessed time for sure. Sit and meditate to flute music all day. It is. About like three hours. So this is my. Let me see. You guys can see this online. This is my uh, Native American it's called the grandfather flute. Um, it has five holes instead of the modern six. These four holes on the bottom represent the four elements, the four corners of the earth. Add a little horse on it. Never took lesson. I listened to flute music. I was listening to it beforehand. I don't know how this is going to sound with the microphone, so I'm going to try to step back a little bit. Uh, we'll just do like two or three minutes of that.
So I think the message that feels very right for me to share is it's not about being perfect at something. It's not about doing it the right way. It's not about doing it the way that all the professionals or whatever people do it. It's about what feels right in the heart. And I didn't take lessons because I just just trusted that it was for me. And so that is my message. Just about what feels right. Because if it feels right for you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't need to feel right for other people. It doesn't need to sound perfect. It needs to feel right. Thank you. Thank you. My little one? Yeah. I can play her a little bit. So. <laughs> <coughs> So she has a very high pitch sound. Like that inner child. <laughs> Thank you, Craft. <laughs> I do have life. I do have Thank you so much. Those words. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Mm -hmm. I've seen you play with um, with um, <laughs> any girl. I just feel like this message here. I just can't believe how much energy I feel when you play. I mean, I, I, it's like I'm so moved. I can't even talk without crying. <laughs>
the group is a group of mixed Native American, shaman, African, also teacher. I'm a dancer. I am going to join. So I would like to introduce the group of slavery. I, in Africa, I'm not sure that you're aware. Well, my brother in law is a shaman, a real shaman, but in Africa, a West, to be exact, the Jimbe in, in the Bodun, that's my home region, so West Africa. The Jimbe is important because the Jimbe is the voice where the voice of the Lord appears, um, the voice of the Lord God. And when the Jimbe is played, these experts, per se, and experts are much more than um, the sages, they play the Jimbe because they can feel and they can hear a certain rhythm. They're born with it. They don't need training. The training comes first. So they play the djembe because it's a special sound. It's a call and response. The response typically comes from the dancers who respond to the djembe song who can bring to the spirit sound to heal others. It's the same in shamanism if you understand shamanism um, because they're all the same. And so you have the gift. Honestly, I love the gym. I hear it so much. I dance to it. I love the flute. Mm-hmm. And the flute is the thing that should break the hymn. That's what I want. That should be me. Um, that's what that means. So beautiful. And so perfection is just a state of mind. You're perfect. It is found it first to me, right? And so you also your affirmation today was perfect. It's beautiful. It was never about the money. It was always right. So anyway, I'll speak with you before we leave the email. I have the honor of your answer. And I want to put two words um this this group. Love, love, and they're in Africa right now. They cover the world. All you, but they're typically here during the Juneteenth. So we're playing the gym day, and they're experts in all of it. They still love it. Thank you. We have two more minutes left. Could you, for those who are not sure, you connect. <laughs> <laughs> For those who have not, <laughs> I heard. So I want. <laughs> I want you to know the tears are are reciprocated.
Thank you, Mel. That was that was amazing. I'm I'm just thinking about the shamanic journeys that could be done with that as the background. So <laughs> it would be amazing. So So we're now going to move on to uh, the time for healing and messages. The recording will now be stopped to preserve the sacredness of those who are receiving from spirit. I'm going to ask for assistance. I'm not sure that I have it. Usually it tells you if it's going on. It's taking, taking. 